50 ml of 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid were added to 1.25 grams of a sample of limestone, uh, which is an impure calcium carbonate. The excess acid required 25 ml of 0.5 molar potassium hydroxide to, for neutralization. Then we are required to determine the percentage purity of the calcium carbonate balanced equation. So we will have potassium hydroxide reacting with HCl to give us potassium chloride plus water. Okay, we balance the equation one potassium, one potassium, one oxygen, one oxygen, two hydrogen, two hydrogen, one chlorine, one chlorine, and so the equation is balanced. So we know that the number the volume of potassium hydroxide used volume of potassium hydroxide was 25 ml and the molality of potassium hydroxide is 0 0.5 molar so this one means that we have 0 0.5 moles in a thousand ml Okay, then we can ask ourselves if a thousand ml contains 0 0.5 moles, what about 25 ml? So how many number of moles are in 25 ml of, of potassium hydroxide? Therefore, we close multiply and therefore you'll get 25 ml multiplied by 0 0.5 moles over a thousand ml. Uh -huh. We have ml ml cancelling and this will give us 0 0.0125 moles so this is um, the number of moles of potassium hydroxide that reacted with hydrochloric acid now let's check the mole ratio from the equation we can see that since the coefficient of potassium hydroxide is 1 and that of hydrochloric acid is 1 that means that the mole ratio is 1 is to 1 mole ratio is equal 1 is to 1 or simply we can say that 1 mole of potassium hydroxide 1 mole of potassium hydroxide reacted with 1 mole of hydrochloric acid Therefore, from the mole ratio, we can be able to see that if one mole reacts of potassium hydroxide react with one mole of hydrochloric acid, it simply means that 0 0.0125 moles of potassium hydroxide reacted with the same number of moles of, of hydrochloric acid. So, moles of HCl in excess is equals to 0 0.0125 moles the concentration of hcl is 0 0.5 molar hcl uh, this one also means that 0 0.5 moles are in a thousand ml okay but the volume that we used from the question is 50 ml therefore we can ask ourselves how many number of moles and in 50 ml we close multiply we will get 50 ml multiplied by 0 0.5 moles all over 1000 ml again ml ml cancels and therefore the, this one will give us 0 0.0250 moles so this is the original number of moles of HCl, okay? Now, you can see that to determine the number of moles of, that, of hydrochloric acid that reacted with the calcium carbonate or the impure calcium carbonate, we have to take the original number of moles, we minus the number of moles of, of HCl that reacted with the potassium hydroxide it's good to remember that here we have the hcl the original original hcl 
okay number of moles this the first reacted with calcium carbonate it first reacted with calcium carbonate and then the excess reacted with potassium hydroxide okay so the number of moles that reacted with potassium hydroxide we have realized that they are 0 0.0125 moles and we have also been able to determine the original number of moles of HCl which is 0 0.0250 moles so to get the number of moles that reacted with calcium carbonate we will simply take the original we subtract those that reacted with potassium hydroxide and we will be able to get those that reacted with calcium carbonate and therefore moles of HCl that reacted with calcium carbonate will be equal to will be given by 0 0.0250 moles minus 0 0.0125 moles uh -huh. and this will give us 0 0.0125 moles so this is the number of moles of hcl that reacted with calcium so i'll now write an equation a balanced chemical equation between hydrochloric acid and calcium carbonate so i'll have my hcl reacting with calcium carbonate to give me calcium chloride plus CO2 gas plus water okay and balancing the equation I have one hydrogen here I have one so I'll put a two here so calcium carbonate everything else is balanced so from that I can tell that two moles of HCl reacts or reacted with one mole of calcium carbonate therefore i can see that the mole ratio is two is to one okay so every time i have two moles of hcl they will react with calcium with one mole of calcium carbonate now i ask myself what about if i have 0 0.0125 moles of hcl how many number of moles of calcium carbonate with, will they react with therefore i'll ask myself what about 0 0.0 one two five moles okay so i'll have this will give me so this will give me 0 0.0125 multiplied by one divided by two and i'll get 0 0.0063 moles this means that the number of moles of calcium carbonate that reacted with hydrochloric acid is 0 0.0063. We calculate percentage purity. Percentage purity. Percentage purity is equals to mass of pure calcium carbonate. All over mass of the impure of the impure sample multiplied by a hundred percent mass of calcium carbonate the pure one will be given by moles multiplied by relative formula mass so in this case i'll have the number of moles as 0 0.0063 multiplied by 100 grams per mole okay so this will give me a mass of 0 0.63 grams so the mass of the pure carbon is 0 is 0 0.63 and the mass of the sample from the question is 1.125 and then multiplied by 100 and this will give us 
percent so this is the percentage purity of the calcium carbonate